Hi, I'm Joseph Lebrecht for Creative Pro, and we're going to see some tips dealing with more complex 3D content created with Adobe Illustrator and how to correct things like scale and placement of various meshes within a true 3D environment. So here inside of Adobe Illustrator, we have some content with a 3D appearance applied to it. We have this coffee mug here, and it is a more complex type. We have two objects, one for the handle, which we see here, and one for the mug itself. Now, of course, we've created these things by adding a 3D and material appearance to them. So if we toggle the visibility off for these, we can see what the underlying shapes look like. Let's toggle this back on for each one, starting with the mug. In the 3D and materials panel, we can see here that we've chosen the revolve 3D type. This is how we get this mug shape. If I choose my handle, for this, we used extrude. So let's go ahead and toggle 3D materials back on. And there we are. So we have two objects inside of Illustrator with 3D appearance. Using the selection tool, let's go ahead and drag a selection rectangle across both of these objects. And in the asset export panel, I want to export this content as a true 3D model. So I'm going to grab it and drag it into our asset export panel. For my format, I want to make sure to use a 3D file format. And we have a number of formats to choose here. GLTF is what I'm going to use for this. With GLTF selected, I'm going to click Export. And I'm going to go ahead and export this into my chosen folder. Jumping over to Adobe Dimension, and you could use Substance 3D Stager as well for this. I'm going to drag Coffee Mug GLTF right into our interface here. It'll create a new project for us and place the mug. Now notice it's being placed at its very center point here. And because of that, it's passing through the ground plane. So the first thing I'm going to do is move along the Y position here until it snaps to my ground plane. And if we go to the camera, we can actually see that it does a pretty good job exporting from Illustrator, except when it doesn't. So we can see right here, the placement in Illustrator was a little rough. Illustrator is not a true 3D environment. While we can do some basic modeling like this in Illustrator, we really have to perform more complex tasks within a true 3D environment, such as what Dimension gives us. So let's go ahead and adjust some of these things here. If I look, we have our handle completely disjointed. So let's use the dolly tool to go into our mug here. So we can see it straight off. And then in our scene panel, I'm going to expand our coffee mug group. And we have two different objects in here. These are two separate meshes. We have unnamed, which is my handle. So I'm going to double click and type handle. It's always good to name your objects in your layers. And for unnamed two, let's double click on that and call it mug. Then I know exactly what I'm dealing with. And inside of here, if I choose handle and re-engage with my select tool, I can then position my handle appropriately, attaching it directly to the side of the mug. Now, another issue here is it's a bit small when I drew it out in Illustrator, but that's easy to fix as well. We can use the scale to scale that up and reposition as appropriate. Pretty nice. And that's a quick look on how to correct your exported 3D model groups from Adobe Illustrator within a true 3D environment. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.